Hey guys, welcome to Out of Ink. I'm the archivist and crossovers are a beautiful thing. Both the TMNT and Power Rangers have been killing it with their crossovers, Turtles more so in my opinion, but you still can't go wrong with either of these books, especially when the results of their crossover are more phenomenal. Now, Power Rangers and TMNT crossed over in a five-issue miniseries back in 2019. This was written by Ryan Parrott, the writer behind Mighty Morphin Power Rangers at the time, with Simone DeMio on the art. If you've ever read Boom Studios' MMPR, first off, I can highly recommend that book because it is a great title. And the crossover with the Turtles gets the same level of TLC as present in the regular Boom Studios run. Everything looks, feels, and is written great. This comic is just bright, bold fun right from the get-go, and there's just so much that I enjoy. I guess one of the things that stands out to me is this crossover is that it only takes place in one canon. I feel like most of the crossovers I've read are done with the formula of two worlds colliding, but Power Rangers and the TMNT take place in the same world. I love the idea of the TMNT and the Power Rangers living on opposite sides of the country and being aware of each other on some level with my whole being. This comic gets right into the good stuff. This means we get fantastic action sequences, fun interactions between the rangers and the turtles, Rita and Shredder having so much tension, and my favorite, the comics where the turtles and the rangers have to flip-flop gimmicks. The TMNT get to be the turtle rangers and save the world in public, and the power rangers get to be ninja rangers and have more drip that should be legal on anybody especially Billy. For any of you out there who are Green Ranger fans, you will be the only ones who suffer, but it is for a greater cause. We get a lot less of Tommy as in a regular book in exchange for the Shredder Green Ranger, which is the coolest villain thing I think I have seen in a crossover in ever. This book gives mad respect to both Rita and Shredder, and it's really nice. Not to mention there is something just so simple and pure as getting a bunch of teenagers with attitude, mutant or not, together and having them fight and save the world. It's really, really rad. Honestly, I cannot tell you guys how excited I was in this theater at Comic-Con when they announced that they were going to make a sequel to this crossover. This is amazing because that means there is so much more potential for what can happen. Especially because Shredder and Rita both mentioned Dimension X in the crossover the first go around. So, possibilities? They just got way more interesting. Anyway, I could sit here and go on and on about this book all day because I absolutely love it. I love everything about this. This is one of the best crossovers I have read in recent years. And... I'm going to be looking forward to the next one, and I hope you guys will be too. So, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Be more of a Power Rangers type of person, or a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle type of person. Or you could be like me, who has no real preference, and loves them both. If you're more of a Power Rangers fan, just so you guys know, me and Chris the Retro Gaming Nerd will be going to Power MorpherCon 2022. I hope that if you see me there, if you see us there, you'll come say hi. That would be absolutely amazing. So I hope to see you guys there. In the meantime, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time here on Out of Ink.